morning pot pickers happy friday <clears throat> temperatures have definitely gone up although it's overcast and been a bit wet temperatures are finally on the up not hot or anything like that but you can just feel that the cold snap has gone it means i don't have to have my central heating on all the time and that's a welcome break because paying for the gas has been crippling I'm probably paying around four times as much as I used to spend paying about a hundred pound a week I think on gas crazy <clears throat> at least um, in the winter I was um, but not now Currently smoking the 626, uh, cauldron kind of shape, a nice uh, black green ebonite hand cut stem, <coughs> one of my very own, and um, one of the first, I think, of this shape that I've done, I think. And I don't remember why I kept this one, if there was a reason or if it's just because I wanted it. But it's one of my best OGS, <coughs> excuse me, mouthful of smoke. One of my, one of my best OGS uh, smokers, which is indeed what I've got in there right now. stayed up far too late last night. I'm knackered. <clears throat> I was on it first with uh, Mike Bry Blues on his Zoom. And then live on IG with uh, Andrew Serigliano and Peter Piper. A good time was had by all. You like my new car, Porsche 911. A little run around for the weekend, you know. So I saw a couple of videos. One by Charlie Boca de Boyton, and by Chad, titled "Balance." I don't know if there's um, uh, a round robin going around the YTPC on that topic or if it's just something between the two of them so not wishing to jump on the party just wanted to make one point following on from my video about dedication to the flag and uh, <clears throat> the central theme of my video was tolerance and um, I've got nothing really to add to what Chad and Charlie said because they kind of cover it all. I've often talked about having a balance in life, but um, it got me to thinking about the connection between tolerance and balance. And I think the two are interconnected. I think if you're tolerant, it leads to balance. And if you have balance, it leads to tolerance. So balance is a very powerful tool in a person's characteristics and it helps them to be a more grounded, even-handed and, yes, balanced person. <clears throat> if you have a balanced view of things, if you generally have a balanced outlook on life, then you're more likely to be tolerant of other people because you're, you don't really 
have a knee-jerk reaction to things and you don't run to extremes. So if you have balance, then you're more likely to be able to see other people's point of view. And if you have a balance, if you're a person who has um, a level head, then you're likely to be more tolerant of, of, of what they say and of what they believe. So I think both work Vicky Verky, vice versa. So balance leads to tolerance, tolerance leads to balance, and I guess they are kind of parts of one of the one and the same thing. They come from the same place. Tolerance is balance. It is it has the same DNA as balance. And balance has the same DNA as tolerance. Perhaps, though, it's more that tolerance it has the DNA of balance rather than not so much that balance has the, the DNA of tolerance. Hold on a second, let me just work that through in my mind. My brain is a bit foggy, so it takes a little bit of time. <coughs> work vice versa anyhow you get the uh, you get the point so I thought it was interesting that um, the two ideas really um, are almost one and the same thing Well, I think that's it for this morning, just a short one. In case you haven't um, been watching the VRs to Ed, the armchair piper, on what is the YTPC, I very much encourage you to do so. Um, just search um, what is the YTPC on YouTube and see what you come up with. Um, and then look at the comments possibly, or look at Ed's video of his gore. Um, Armchair Piper a couple of videos back and um, and you'll see the people below in the comments who have done VRs and you can check them out it's just a worthwhile exercise have a great weekend everybody wish you all well and uh, look forward to seeing you all being well tomorrow night for London's Calling at some point between 11 and 12 o'clock tomorrow night UK time yeah, we haven't done daylight saving yet so there's only uh, four hours difference I think now between us and the US I think we're changing in about three weeks or something like that four weeks thanks everybody catch you on the next one all right so I just watched the last couple of minutes of Chad's video because um, once he had finished the point talking about balance I kind of um, went and started thinking about doing my own video um, but I went back and listened to the rest of the video and he explains that there's um, it's part of his thought of the day and he's got a playlist running and he's inviting people to contribute so I don't feel so bad now I thought I was getting in on a little private uh, party between Chad and Charlie So there we go. Nice one, Chad. Thanks very much, everybody. Catch you on the next one.